Um, so the Cowboys face the Giants this week. We're obviously going to the Giants. Um, I think we can should hopefully we can we can close out the division this week. If not, Washington comes to our place the next week on Sunday night football. Division should be wrapped up by then. I I, I don't I don't as long as we're winning, of course. Division should be wrapped up. Hopefully, we can wrap it up this week. Should be wrapped up definitely the week after. Um, I'm not worried about the Giants. Um, if I'm Mike McCarthy, I wouldn't make any guarantees anymore. I mean, you know, it worked out in your favor. Dallas is clearly the more talented team, the more healthy team, if you will. Um, I'm... <sighs> I know what I said about late season football. I know what I said. I know exactly what I said about late season football. But this offense is looking really bad. And I don't know if it's Dak. I don't know if it's the offensive line. I was listening to um, one of the um, one of the uh, talk show guys, debate guys earlier today. And they said something very interesting. He was talking about Aaron Rodgers, and he said, he said, Aaron Rodgers, that offensive line in Green Bay is not necessarily great, but because he's a great quarterback, they, they play great. They look great. They, they, they do enough to help him make plays. And I will say this, and this is probably the last out I'm going to give Dak. This is probably the last out I'm going to give Dak. Dak's offensive line has been different at least all season, I believe. The most consistent our offensive line was, was between weeks one and six. Between weeks one and, or at least one and seven. Between weeks one and seven, we were six and one. Highest point per game average. And then, and, and, and the crazy thing, we didn't have Lyle Collins, which is crazy. He was suspended, remember? So that was the most consistent the offensive line's been. Then he had the calf injury. Then the bye week. Then he missed the game. Then he came back. He came back against Denver, and Denver just, I think the Cowboys went into that game thinking the Broncos were just going to roll over, which they didn't. So, and I made a video. I told the Falcon fans, because I live here in Georgia, I told the Falcon fans, it's not personal. Don't be surprised if we score 50. It's not personal. We're just trying to get back on track. We got back on track. We we mollywopped the Falcons. And then it was right back to regular schedule program. Bad, bad, you know, missing guys. Dak missing guys, wide open. Now, now, I will say this. The wide receivers were dropping a lot of passes. A lot of passes. Why is Noah Brown playing? I asked myself that question because obviously I can't ask the coaching staff. I don't have a press pass. I'm not media. But why is Noah Brown starting over Malik Turner. So that plays into it. Other than that, I'm still trying to figure out what is wrong with Dak Prescott. I personally think he's still injured. You got one more game. And like I said, this is the last out I'm going to give Dak. Yo, the offensive line has not been consistent. I think Connor Williams needs to go back in over Connor McGovern. Um, I think Ty Nitsky needs to play left tackle over Terrence Steele, to be honest with you. So, you know, because when Tyron went out in yesterday's game, Ty Nitsky came in, didn't miss a beat, played pretty well. Now, that might be because Washington doesn't really have a pass rush right now. But getting still, he played decent. Um, the New York Giants have a defense. The, the 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 best part of their team is their defense. 
So we will be tested. Um, I just, I just want, I just want my team to look better. I just want my, I, at, well, I want my offense to look better. Notice I ain't brought up the defense not one bit. I'm keeping my mouth shut because they're playing well, they're playing very well, especially at the end of the season. Um, but I, I really need my offense and really more so Dak Prescott to play a whole lot better. It's your boy, Billy Mack. We'll holler at you next time. Peace.